you gotta love these panels of scrappy fabric. I'm Jan Howell, and in the sewing tutorial today, it's a beginner sewing project that I think you'll really like. I'm gonna show you how you can take these scrappy fabric panels and regular fabric and make stuffed hearts with them. In a previous tutorial, I showed you step-by-step step how to make these scrappy fabric panels, which is really easy to do, very fun, and quite addicting. So I'll put the link in the description below where you can go to make these panels. What you'll really like about this sewing tutorial is I'm gonna show you a way to sew two pieces of fabric together that are small shapes, have small seam allowances, and use a method that maybe you haven't seen before that makes it super easy and less frustrating. Get out your sewing machine and let's make some scrappy fabric hearts. Let's go over the materials and items that you'll need for the project. Like I mentioned before, you can use regular fabric or you can use your panels. These panels have been reinforced with fusible fleece, which makes them have a little bit more structure and a quilted look if you want. The backing fabric that you'll use for the heart, I'm just using a plain piece of muslin cut the same size as your panels. You'll need a heart template or what I really like to use are heart cookie cutters. That way you can kind of see through this, the design of where you want to use the fabric. You'll need a pair of fabric scissors. You'll need a few straight pins, a needle and thread, and a yarn needle. Thin ribbon or jute or twine to hang the heart if you want to. Your sewing machine, of course, and a pencil and a turning stick. The first thing that you'll want to do is decide which shape of heart you want to use. You can use all different sizes. On this particular panel, I am able to use two different heart shapes, one big and one small. One thing to remember is that you'll need to leave at least a quarter inch around the heart for your seam allowance. So you don't want to bring the heart right to the edge of the fabric. I have left enough space for that seam allowance. Now right here, it will be close, but I can cut between there and get a small heart out of the panel. Obviously you want to optimize and use as much of the panel as you can. I would save even the little scraps that you can maybe use them glued onto a gift card or something. So many fun things you can do with this stuff. I'm going to take the backing fabric, place it down, place the fabric right side facing down, and just put a few pins in it to keep it in place. Many of you have cut out hearts before and then you, you cut it all out before you sew it, and then it the fabric starts to shift and it just is really challenging to sew something this small or with curves. This technique is the best. So I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to leave a space down on the bottom of the heart, about one and a half to two inches for stuffing the heart and then we'll sew that closed when we're finished. So I'm gonna start here, sew around and I'll do the small heart while I'm at the machine. I'm going to back stitch at the beginning and the end of the seam. Now around the corner, if you need to leave the needle down and adjust, lift up the presser foot and adjust it just a little bit to get around that corner, you can do that. Just go slow. And at the V in the heart, leave the needle down, lift up your presser foot and pivot it.
see how on those corners I'm going to sew a couple stitches, leave my needle down, and then just pivot the fabric just a little bit. You could also use a needle and thread if you didn't have a sewing machine. And I do have some tutorials showing you some stitches that you can use. And now we're just going to cut around the heart, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to clip that point and clip this notch, making sure not to clip the stitching. We want to trim around the edge. Now on curves, so a little tip on a trick about trimming seam allowances is when you have an, an outward curve like this, you're going to clip little notches out. If it were an inward curve, then we clip little um, notch, little snips. I used to always get confused about that. And again, you don't want to make sure you're not snipping into the seam allowance. So right now I can see, I don't know if you can see this, but I got a little off on that curve right there. So I'm going to unpick that or else it will maybe look kind of wonky. It may be fine. I have re-sewn that curve and that shows you that unpicking is not that big of a deal. You're going to, don't get frustrated if you do have to unpick something. It's just part of sewing. So. The sooner that you can get over that, the better. I'm gonna clip my curves. This is where you'll take your turning stick and flip the right side facing out. That is so cute. Let's see what this little one's going to look like. Yeah, I think that's about the smallest heart you'd want to do. Turning that was a little challenging, but look how cute it is. All right, let's grab some stuffing. Take the turning stick and poke it down into that point. To sew the heart closed, Grab your needle, double thread it, and at the end, let me show you a quick way to make a knot. So there's two threads. I'm going to slide it down between my pointer finger and my thumb and wrap it around the end of my finger a few times and then roll it and pull. And that will make a knot at the end. That's quite a big knot, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. All right. Take the needle, insert it just at the bottom of where we finish stitching and insert it so that the knot is inside. I'm going to flip it over the quarter inch seam allowance. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you can clip this in place or pin it in place. Fold, or I just kind of like to adjust it as I go. And what you'll be doing is taking a stitch in the folded area of the fabric. So you can take your needle and just kind of go like that to get the ends in. So the needle is out on the white backing fabric and I'm gonna bring it straight across the seam, right on the edge and in the fold of the fabric and make a little stitch.
and then just take go across the seam again and into the white fabric fold little stitch So you're just making little stitches back and forth. You'll just continue until you get down to the end. And when you get down to the end, I like to go bring my needle out on the backing fabric take a little stitch little teeny tiny stitch and then leave a loop wrap the needle around it a couple times and hold it while you pull it to make a knot so there's a little knot on the outside and you don't want to just clip the, the thread or you'll have a little tell. So you take the needle and insert it right by the thread and into the heart somewhere and poke it out and then clip your thread. Now if you want to hang the heart, grab whatever you're going to hang it with and grab your yarn needle and just thread the ribbon through and insert it right at that point just a little stitch there. Even out the ends, make a knot. And there you have a place to tie a bow if you wanted to. Hang it over a doorknob or a peg or on a gift. I told you that I'd share some ideas of what you can do with these cute stuffed hearts. So I've shown you how to attach either twine or ribbon. They're cute hung on a door handle, on a bulletin board, somewhere where you can hang things, maybe even in your car. They would be cute displayed in a bowl or a basket. These little hearts would be really cute hung on a gift bag or put in an, a Valentine envelope. Another really fun option is to fill a portion of it with some la dried lavender buds. Then it becomes a little sachet to put in a drawer or just to make your room smell really good. And these make really cute gifts. You can fill it full of lavender buds or a por just a portion of it. I use this funnel also to make my eye pillows. You might want to check out that tutorial as well. This smells so yummy. One more idea is look how cute they look, not even stuffed. If I were to sew that opening closed, you could put a pin on that and it could be a brooch for your sweater or just something cute to add or frame. Oh, I just can't stand it. I want to make a bunch more. Another fun option would be to add crushed walnut shells in a, with a funnel and stuffing to make a pin cushion. I'll put the link where you can get all these supplies in the description below. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. In the comments section below, I'd like to hear what you're making from this scrappy fabric. Some ideas that maybe I haven't even thought of. If you are enjoying my content and you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And be sure to click on that bell so you can be notified when I put new things up. For other crafting and sewing and DIY projects, go to my website, youmakeitsimple.com. You'll find some fun things there. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day, have fun sewing and crafting, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.